Hello everyone, welcome back to Japanese Rail Sim Journey to Kyoto. So hot on the trail of the first look, which I put up on the channel yesterday. I have been playing this quite a bit over the last day and uh, managed to get through the whole of the section mode. So section mode, if you remember, it, it runs up and down the line uh, as it says in sections. Uh, for each of these, you can unlock medals and uh, you start with the Kurama line at the top uh, and the Eisen line down. Uh, and as you unlock those, you unlock the rest of the uh, different directions, including one here, which is uh, in autumn. These are summer. This one's autumn, as you can tell with the leaf there next to uh, next to the description. Um, so all those are unlocked now. And what that means is that we now have a full line mode available, which will let us do the full run of the line surprisingly enough now i did say i would do that so i've been working hard to get that unlocked so i thought we'd jump that jump into that today and then you can see uh what it will look like i've not done this at all yet everything's listed as new but i, I thought we'll go in a different direction because everybody in the videos seems to start from the bottom um at uh d oh god i'm gonna do it again aren't i damachi yanganagi something like that you know what i mean just look on the map down at the bottom every video seems to start from that end so i thought being as we got it unlocked we'll start at uh, karama at the top and work our way down the main line we're not going to do the branch line today which is this i will do that in a separate video but let's start at, uh, at karama because it is quite leafy up there it's actually it's actually quite nice up there so i want you to see the full length of the line i'm also going to do it with the minimal hood so you can see all the surroundings, you can see how good it looks as we come down. So without further ado, I think we will get into it. Uh, let's have a look. It is this one that we need, the first station, Karama, all the way down to the bottom. So let's get into that. We'll take the hood off, so, so it's like this. We're just waiting for the. Uh, we've got 15 seconds till we depart. So basically, just here now, we just got the throttle and the brake that you can see for the hood. You can have it all the way off like that, or the full one, but uh, you get to see a bit more. So doors are closing. Release the brakes. Let's get the master key going. Right. So we got 35 kilometers per hour on this section. Now the other thing that I did over the over a period of playing it over several hours is um, I started to I'm already speeding. I did start to have a look at the available control schemes in the settings. Uh, I was using the thumbsticks as you know, but I was finding it difficult to step up and down the throttle and brake without you know sort of jumping. Uh, two steps at once it was really really difficult with the thumbsticks anyway what i've done is there is a, tr a control scheme and i think if you're playing the game the control scheme is actually called uh type i think it's type b is described as and uh, what that lets me do is use the d-pad up and down to control the throttle increase and decrease the throttle then for the brakes i am using a triangle to apply brakes and X on PlayStation to release the brakes. I think I've got that the right way around. We'll find out now. Let's have a look. Yeah, so triangle puts the brake in. Speed in again. Most of this is downhill, by the way. Triangle to increase the brake. X to release the brake. And there's a lot of uh, feathering of the brakes on this section. 300, uh, 300 meters to go to the station. I tell you what though, even since the first look, I've had loads of fun with this. I've actually had more fun than I thought I would do. Because it's just completely different to the other stuff we've been playing, as I said in the previous video. Right, 100 to go. Let's start putting brakes in. Look at all these people on the platform. These are all real people, look, taking pictures of the train. They've got the faces blurred out. 
but they're all waiting for the train, look. Got people there in traditional Japanese clothing. So let's be as accurate as we can. That'll do. That will do. Okay, release the brakes. So, you remember yesterday, because it was doing it in sections, every time we got to a station, it gave us a, a rundown of our performance, etc. And then we just press continue to get to uh, the next stage. So now we're doing the full, the full line. It works like any other rail sim now, and we're just making our own way to each station without the frequent pauses but as I said at the beginning of the video that isn't available the full line isn't available you must complete the section mode first and that will take you a number of hours but there are pleasurable hours this part of the line is, is really nice I thought the city part was quite good with everybody running past and people cycling etc etc but actually this uh, this I mean, look at this. Look where they cut the trees down at the side. They just chopped a hole right through this uh, <laughs> through this section. They cut the forest back. It is really impressive. And we're speeding. Just got one notch of break on for this section. Uh, you obviously don't need to pay attention to signalling or anything like that. You just grip it and rip it. Just keep uh, keep your eye on the speeds and the braking and the distance to the uh, the stopping points in the platform. I would say coming down this hill, as you would expect, is more of a challenge than it is going up the hill because you really do have to pay attention to these brakes. Let's just roll into the station. We've got another another train on the opposite side. Waiting for us. 60 to go till we'll stop. There's a train spotter look on the left. Let's see how close we can get. Go on, go on. That'll do. There are trophies for um, getting a number of stops right on the money and you know within various distances of the line. Um, I think yeah, I think though you'll unlock those naturally as you go along. There's a couple of other ones that seem difficult. There, are, there is uh, there's a couple of tunnels. They're called tunnels, but they're not actually tunnels in the true sense of the word. They're more like uh, cuttings. Uh, one of them is maple leaf cutting, which I think we're coming through actually quite soon. I noticed those, there are, for those two tunnels as they call them, there is, a, there is an achievement for going through there at 30 kilometres per hour. Here we go, maple tree tunnel, you see the maple trees now? So we are meant to go through here at 30, now I don't know whether I can do that. I'm going to try it. Because you've got to go through here at 30 for an achievement and I find it really really difficult unless there's some kind of cruise control that I don't know about to go through here at 30 and keep it at 30 so I don't know how people are getting the achievements for that there are there are people getting the achievements actually the percentage is quite high just looking down the PlayStation list so I need to do some practice on that and just look up if there's some kind of some kind of way you can hold your speed. I'm not aware of that at the moment. You see the cars and the traffic up on the left. They're all waiting for us now. At the crossing. 330 to go to the station. telling me I'm moving too slow. I have left all the prompts on. You can turn all those off. If you want to drive it completely for 
professionally you can of course turn the hood and everything off um, however it is tricky um, eventually you'll be able to do it hopefully today the sound is a bit better I realized uh, after I did the first look after it was recorded uh, perhaps the sound was a little bit too loud in the train with all the announcements etc so hopefully that didn't spoil it for you and you're able to uh, to watch it okay if you see the workman see the workman there on the right hand side if you see any workman on the track I've noticed that if you hoot the horn at them while they're on the track you actually get a bonus so it doesn't tell you that but uh, you do get a bonus so it's worth uh, keeping your eye out for the workmen on the track or work ladies I don't know if uh, I don't know if we have track ladies in Japan but with this this type B control scheme I would recommend this if you're playing it it's much easier than the default one with the thumbsticks give it a try with this three or four different control schemes uh, just just see which one fits best uh, I, I was I was kind of all right with the thumbstick one, but it was annoying me. Skipping up two two notches on the throttle at once and not seemingly being able to control it very well. This seems this Type B one seems to be the best for me. Let's get the controller off. Yeah, I'm going a bit too fast. I'll take it. This is quarter past three in the afternoon. Slightly dark, isn't it? It's going dark. So those, once you unlock via the sections menu, once you unlock the routes, the routes that are available are different seasons and different times of day. So it's not, you know, it's not just, it's not just one video that they've done up the line and back down the line. They've actually given you several different versions of at different times of year, which I think is quite good. I still think that it's probably not worth the full price because I don't know about the playability. I don't know how much playability there actually is, but certainly for the price that I've paid at just under £20, I think actually it's very good value. And I don't know if they're making any more of these. I think that's this one. It's been on console for around 18 months, but I think it's actually been out longer than that on PC, if I remember correctly. So I don't know if they've got any plans to make any more. But it's a very good idea. It's obviously been made with tourism in mind as well, because obviously the view that you get, but also you do unlock little, uh, what they call uh, guidebooks as you unlock medals by running the services you unlock guidebooks which give you points of interest along the line things like you know temples and shrines and the history i was actually reading those before they're quite interesting let's do a stop on the money if we can we're at five kilometers per hour there we go 84 centimeters difference that was One thing that is strange, because it is recorded from the cab view, we can't look left and right. We can't go to an outside cab view as we would in other in other train simulators. Uh, that is a bit strange to get used to, because I would love to look around on this, but obviously it's not possible unless you've got some kind of some kind of VR version going on. But can you imagine that if you're able to look to the side now? Right, we've got 380 meters to go let's just keep the brakes going we're on a downhill as you can tell it does tell you there as well that the hood at the bottom left if you are uh, level or going up going down which is quite useful there we are we're level again now on this section the station's just around this corner there it is Morning. 
I find it interesting looking at the people on the station though, they're just regular travellers and they're just there, they've no idea they're in this game. Which is obviously why they've uh, blocked everybody's face out. Well, they have in the most sense. There's a couple there that haven't. Concentration time. There we go, we're just over this time, that's fine. I think after a while as well, I'll probably get used to the stations. The names are obviously going to take me <laughs> going to take me a while to understand. Well, I need to pronounce them first. Once I can pronounce them, then I'll remember them. But I was really surprised when I got up to this part of the route, because as I said, most videos you see on YouTube show the other end which is where we're going to now which is the, the built up sort of city bar and uh, very rarely do you see this end of the line this is actually the, for me this is the best part of the line it's the most interesting and especially you know for me I don't know a thing about Japanese trains the only thing I know about uh, Japanese trains obviously is the bullet train and I've seen one of those in the, uh, the National Railway Museum, actually. The last time I was there, several years ago, they had one in there. And um, apart from that, I don't know a thing about Japanese trains, so it does actually uh, help you see what a Japanese railway is like. So it's a really good idea. Can you imagine if they made these for different countries? Just take the concept. The concept's really good. And I'm going to go over, am I? Oh, full brakes on. Look at that. 73 centimetres. Just take some practice. Alright, let's go. 900 metres to the next station. Iwakura. I can say that one. And, if you listen to the announcements in the background, they're all genuine as well. Now, whether or not they've recorded that on board during this trip, or whether they recorded all those separate and laid those over the top, I'm not sure, but... Uh, it's actually, for authenticity, I find that really nice. It actually feels like you're on the train. This is a nice section. Look at the mountains there. Look to the left to see people walking along. Get a warning about taking too fast. This end of the line, you notice the buildings have got a little bit more space. Just watch when we get to the city. Everything is on top. It feels like everything is on top of each other. And I do believe that, uh, you know, the prices, the cost of living in Japan is actually really high. There's someone who's more paid for to come across. And uh, you can buy a very small place to live and it can cost you an absolute fortune in Japan. Now, I don't know this particular line. I don't know anything about this line. I don't know whether this is near to... Uh, you know the main center of Japan or whether this is you know on the outskirts somewhere um, but I imagine it's the same everywhere it's a really expensive place to live by all accounts so those cars are waiting at the crossing there's also somebody there with a bike on the left Hachiman Mai is next. So I can also listen to the announcer. Maybe that will help my pronunciation. <laughs> It'll stop you guys laughing at me all the time anyway. Well, a little bit less. 
So we've got some speed up down here. It'll tell me I'm speeding very shortly, but uh, half a kilometre to go. It does tell you, see there it says that's the right tempo, keep it up. So it does tell you where it wants to be. So the little blue line on the hood, I think it's the ideal speed. It does let you go faster than that. But as long as you're, as long as you're at the little blue marker, it doesn't mind you being a little bit higher. It does tell you for each one what the line speed is, but you know, the faster you go, it doesn't like you being right up to that line speed. Now, that if, I don't know if that's something to do with the uh, Japanese railways. You know, there is a there is a kind of line speed, but that's the maximum you go to, um, and you're not really meant to cruise along at that speed. And I'm going very fast here. Not sure. It could be it could be something to do with uh, Japanese railways, but in this game, it likes you to be around the uh, the blue marker. Right, time for departure, let's go. See there, the max speed for this section is 60, but it's asking us to maintain 40. And if I take it up to near 60, let's try it. So that's the target speed is 40. If I take it round to 60, it'll let me do it for a while, then it'll complain. But we'll try it. As long as I don't go into that red section on the hood. Keep it near to 60. Now I've said that, it's not gonna uh, it's not gonna complain, is it this time? So we've got a downhill gradient coming up. Yeah there you go, too fast. So maybe too fast for the uh, the downhill gradient. Maybe see it says 55 there. Now 50. 220 to go to the station. This here on the left, can you see on the left, that's the Eisen branch. So that's the other line that we've got that we can run. So this is where they both meet. Somebody walking across the crossing there, so we don't want to shoot across. But they trust you, don't they, to stop. But they've actually, I can see them, they've actually put the barriers down. The nearer I got to the end, they actually put the barriers down. So but now everybody's waiting, look. So wait for the doors, breaks off. Off we go. Yeah, so this section of the line right here you will run this section of line, whichever route you take. So either the Isaac branch or the Karama line, you'll take this this part of the route, is always going to be the same. So you'll see it's now starting to get built up, <coughs> excuse me, built up, which is what I was saying just earlier. 500 to go. Everything seems to be right on top of the railway, doesn't it? What I like is as well, as you go over each crossing, it tells you what the crossing is. And it gives you a sort of countdown, so that was the, that was crossing 5, this will be crossing 4, until we get to the station. So you, you kind of get a little, a little countdown. There's 3. This, I assume, is going to be two. Then here's one. Let's go easy, then we can get into the station. This is a tricky one, this one. So, easily does it. There's a railway worker there on the left. Right, let's put the brakes in. go not bad there's a bit of a depot there on the left hand side as well which you see more of in the other direction okay, let's 
set off. There's that train coming again, you see, because it, it uh, kind of rewound the tape, as it were, uh, ready for us to, to set off again. So that train coming towards us is always going to be in that position at that time. Now, we haven't got many stations left, I don't think. You see it getting dark, you know. Half a kilometre. Okay, moving a little bit too fast this time, so let's bring it back down. We don't want any mistakes here, because what will happen, actually, if you come to an emergency stop, or you shoot for a station, or anything like that, when you're on the full run, this is kind of like the professional mode. Um, what it will actually do is it will cancel the whole run and you've got to go back to the beginning. It doesn't give you an option to restart where you failed. So it's a little bit like the SPAD in Train Sim World. So I want to be really careful now I've got down as far as this that I don't completely mess it up, which is possible. So stopping too short going too far, emergency brakes, all will cause it to fail, so we'll just go very cautiously on this part, that's a good one, 17 centimetres that one, doors are closed, let's go, talking about also if you run out of time the train will be cancelled you can see at the top a lot in time we've got 137 seconds to get to the next station which is only half a kilometer away we shouldn't be okay with that I think. as long as we keep to that minimum speed so let's see how we do traveling too fast so let's take some of that off play it by the book as best we can as we come this far. Hope you're enjoying it. It's a full run of the main line. And uh, as I said, in a, a future video, we'll run the Eisen branch as well. So you can get a look at that. And if you do decide to pick this up, you know exactly what amount of track and gameplay you're actually getting. Right, let's. Uh, Go easy into the station. I mainly don't want to overshoot. I don't mind stopping a little bit early. Like that. But I'm assuming there is a... There is a kind of a, a buffer zone that it lets you be within before it will cancel the train. This is an interesting train on the right. Look at this one. Very unusual looking train from the front. I'm going to Google that after and see what that is. I don't think you can drive that one on this route. But it looks very futuristic, doesn't it, that one? Right, let's keep the speed up. speed off that wasn't too bad we were coming in at a rate of knots then i was worried <laughs> i was a little bit worried about that one i will admit in fact the next station is our final stop so we definitely don't want to screw this one up now coming into this station uh, what what it does is it because it's the end of the line it does step down speed wise as we approach the station i think it goes down to a 20 then a 15 or a 10 i can't remember i've only been into this station from this direction once i think uh, but we will find out so keep your 
right, I think up on the top right will tell you if the uh, speed is about to drop. We're still over half a kilometre away at the moment. So we're okay for now. But it will give us a warning. Everybody waiting at the crossing for us to pass. But just say in the top right, it is, it is recording checkpoints. Now, you know, I was saying if, you, if the train gets cancelled, you can't go back. Uh, I'm wondering if that is strictly true. I don't know enough about it yet, but it is taking checkpoints, which suggests to me that if you fail a section, uh, and there is the speed restriction, you see it's dropping us to 20 in the wood. Um, because it's taking checkpoints, it makes me kind of think that maybe you can resume from where you left off. I'll need to look into that. I don't know that at this point. This is the station. Don't run through the buffers. Take it dead easy. So the approaching speed has got to go down to 15 again, as we anticipated. Now this stuttering at the end here, I thought was stuttering, but I think all it is is that I'm going slower than the video expects me to be. So look at the man walking down the station. Can you see he's, in, he's slightly in slow-mo? Because if you're driving this professionally, you would come into the station a little bit faster than I would. So let's make sure that we do a good one here. That's not bad, is it? 18 centimetres. And I got a trophy for that. We got some medals. We got some awards. We got things unlocked. Paper train tickets. <laughs> I don't know what all that is at the moment. Uh, but we got a score of 4,863. It says train cancelled at the top. What does that mean? It can't be cancelled because we got all the way. So um, we got the awards. It's not cancelled. Don't worry about that. Let's press quit. Keep practising. Challenge yourself to become the Eisen Master. That's the other branch line that we will do next in a future video. So we just get here all the credits, which is quite nice. So I hope you've enjoyed that full run of the line. Um, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. It's not bad, is it? It's it's all right. I quite like it. Um, the branch line is next, as I mentioned. I'll be back with that very soon. Until then. Hope you've enjoyed it. Leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.